Hey y'all, what's up? I'm here for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, Season 4, Episode 8. I know I'm late with this video, but school has been kind of, you know, throwing me off with these videos and stuff. So, um, I apologize about that, but, um, yeah, let's get into the episode. So, um, it starts off with, you know, uh, Lazelle styling Lyrica and, um, Alexis for Lyrica's, you know, listening party. And, you know, um, Lyrica is like, you know, um... Is your crew cool with you, you know, hanging with us and, you know, um, Alexis or whatever, whatever. And, you know, um, Zell, he feels like after the debacle that happened at, you know, the restaurant with Mr. Ray or whatever, like him and Masika should be good and that he should be able to, you know, work with whoever he want to work with because he got to make this, you know, make this money, make this shmoney. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, Lyrica, she's like, well, lucky you, everybody's been picking on me ever since I've been hanging out with Alexis and everything. And Scott, I mean, Alexis, she's like, you know, um, well, Monique ran up on me the other night or whatever, and we got shit popping. And Lyrica is like, I mean, uh, don't she got a kid? Like, she too grown for all that and this, that, and the third. And it's like... I understand that, you know, because it's like, okay, when you do have a kid, you shouldn't want to just be fighting motherfuckers like, you know, all willy-nilly and everything. But let's not act like Alexis is innocent, you know, like she hasn't been popping her motherfucking gums at Moniz and shit, you know what I'm saying, from um, the first scene that they had on this show together. And then, you know, uh, she got on the Instagram live, you know, uh, talking shit about Moniz and saying stuff about her family and blase, blase, so... Yeah, let's not, you know, let's not do that. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, um, Alexis talks about, you know, the PSA that she made against Masika and, you know, uh, the crew or whatever. And Lizelle's like, I'm gonna be honest, I heard you got your ass whooped or whatever. And, you know, Alexis is like, you didn't hear that? You didn't hear that? I'm like, how you gonna tell him what the fuck he heard? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then, like... You know, here go the bullshit. She like, you know, pick a side, pick a side. And, you know, Lizelle was like, I mean, I feel like I could be cool with both. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, um, Lyrica's like, are you sure about that or whatever? And, you know, um, Alexis talks about, you know, the crew uh, ganging up on her and all this other stuff. And, you know, how Mr. Ray has been coming at her all crazy on the social media and everything all up in her comments and stuff. And, you know, uh, Lizelle is like, ooh, I do not fuck with that man. And, you know, he talks about um, how Masika tried to get them to squash they shit um, at the... Um, at the restaurant or whatever, and every time, you know, he sees him, his blood just gets boiling, uh, boiling. So, um, that was that with them. Then we get Monice, Nia, and AD, they're working out or whatever, you know, um, they talk about the fight that Monice had with, um, you know, Alexis or whatever, and, you know, AD is like, man, I was trying to tell her to go to sleep or whatever, and next thing you know, Moniz was rubbing AD's back, AD went to sleep, that was the trick that Moniz used, so she could go out there and, you know, fight Alexis any goddamn way, even though AD told her not to, so, you know, yeah, Moniz knew what she was doing, so, you know, um, Monice is explaining the fight or whatever, how it went down. And she was like, you know, next thing I know, we both were on the ground and I had her wig in my hand or whatever. And, you know, I beat her ass and all this other shit. So then Ray, he ends up showing up or whatever. And he's like, you know, what's going on? Like, you know, um, Alexis saying that you got beat up or whatever this day and the third. And Monice is like, hell no, I whipped her ass or whatever. I had the struggle bun going on and this day and the third. And then, um... Ray brings up, you know, Lyrica's listening party or whatever. AD thinks that it's not a good idea for them to, you know, go there. I feel the same way, but of course, you know, this is a Mona Scott Young production, so of course they're going to go, okay? So, you know, Ray, he's like, you know, well, I want to go because I want to address Thotty Poppins talking about, you know, Alexis or whatever. And, you know, um, he's like, because, you know, she said... um. I mean, he's like, you know, because I want to see if she going to slap me or not or whatever, whatever. You know, AD is still trying to kind of talk them out of it. But, you know, of course, they not going to listen. So, yeah. So, anyways, then we get Brooke and Booby. 
she goes visits him at his apartment or whatever and she keeps on talking about this you know not crossing the line out of respect for Keisha or whatever but yet you keep on doing shit as an indication that you want to fuck around with booby like so I'm just I'm not understanding why she keep on saying that shit you know what I'm saying when she keeps on low key trying to make that move on him you know what I'm saying but whatever so anyways you know she's talking about the lipstick that's on like one of his wine glasses or whatever and booby is like i mean what the, why are you worried about what i'm doing for you ain't my girl <laughs> like that's pretty much what he was saying you know what i'm saying and um somehow they got on the conversation about marcus or whatever and she's like she don't she still don't know what to do with him and everything and <sighs> Their storyline is just getting so tiring and aggravating. Like her, her and this Marcus shit, you know. And Booby starts to play the record that they did together or whatever. And she keep on thinking about being with him and all this other stuff. And see, that's a prime example of what I'm talking about. Like you keep on talking about not crossing this line or whatever out of respect for Keisha, but yet you keep on thinking about being with him. And then it looked like in the previews for next week, you're going to end up kissing him. So like, you know, yeah, whatever. Even though, like I said before, I feel like Keisha don't care anyway, but it's like, bitch, stop saying that shit and you're going to end up crossing the line. Okay. I'm just saying, if y'all haven't already done some shit, you know, prior to look, looking like next week, y'all about to kiss or whatever. But anyway, so, um, she wants Booby pretty much to be her plus one at Lyrica's party. So he agrees to it or whatever. So then we get, you know, TT and Nikki, you know, they meet up to catch up. And, you know, Nikki is like, you know, girl, where you been? I haven't heard from you in a minute or whatever. You know, um, TT tells about, you know, Cisco and his like infidelity or whatever. And Nikki is like, well, you know, do you have everything under control or whatever? Like, is everything good with you? And, you know, TT is like, I mean, yeah, you know, like I do have my nights where I get twisted, but I'm no alcoholic and, you know, I still handle my business and everything. And it's like, okay, there is such thing as functional alcoholics. I know, you know, I know some functional alcoholics like that get up and go to work, you know, and then when they get home, they drink or whatever, go to sleep, and then they wake up, go to work and do it all, you know, do it all over again. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, just because you're handling your business don't mean you're not an alcoholic, okay? I'm just saying. But anyway, so, you know, um, Nikki brings up you know um her and hazel situation or whatever and you know sierra is like you know hazel said that they would never get physical with one another but yet you know she threw a plate of food on me and everything so you know nikki is telling about her you know event for like um i guess what she say her lip gloss or something like that her lip gloss popping whatever you know I, I i forgot i think it is for her like her lip gloss or cosmetic line or whatever but you know um she pretty much wants, she said, she tells, you know, Tierra that she did invite her and Hazel and she wants the both of them to play nice. So, Tierra says she's going to try. So, then um, we get Lyrica's, you know, event or whatever. We got Mama Lyrica and Mama Pam there. And I'm just looking at, I mean, Mama, Mama Pam's hair just don't never seem to be right. But Mama Lyrica's hair, I was looking at her hair like, what? the fuck is going on here like look this is y'all this has been y'all second season up here now i'm gonna need like lyrica and a1 i'm gonna need for y'all to get your mama's hair you know together both of y'all mama's hair together because this shit is unacceptable it's unacceptable okay <laughs> i'm just saying but anyway so you know um Lyrica starts to explain why she named her album um, after her twin because we know we found out last season that she had a twin and her twin passed away when they were only three years old. And so then Booby and Brooke show up or whatever. A1, you know, he being funny or whatever, um, saying, you know, where's my boy Marcus at or whatever. And Brooke is like, I mean, I don't know and everything. So Booby's like, you know, let me go grab some drinks or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And um, so as he's going to do that, A1 is asking, you know, he's asking again, like, where's Marcus at? And, you know, um, 
Brooke says, I know it's crazy for me to be showing up with Booby and everything since me and Marcus are technically still together. And I'm just like, like, I, I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm confused here because it's like, I thought you wasn't with him. You would, but you were still kind of playing this get girl. I, I don't know. I, I'm confused. I, it's, I'm confused. I'm confused. Okay. But whatever. So anyway, she says she technically still with him. Or whatever. And you know, um, A1 is like, you know, my boy Marcus is a king, and you walked up in here with the print with um a prince or whatever, you know, trying to damn play booby and shit. So, you know, um, Brooke says that she's, you know, gonna walk away or whatever and find out where Booby's at because, you know, he got her drink and everything. So, you know, um, next thing you know, um, Alexis and Hazel, they come over to, um, you know, talk to Lyrica or whatever. And, you know, Hazel, she's calling Brooke tired or whatever, saying, you know, I seen you, uh, with the, um, girl with the blue hair all tied and all this other, like, she always calling somebody tired like she ain't tired. Like, girl, please. So, anyways... She talks about how, Hazel is talking about how, you know, Booby, um, I think she said that, yeah, Booby was at her crib one time or whatever, and Brooke called on FaceTime and everything, and, you know, um, she's telling about how her and Booby met at the airport or whatever, and then years later, they connected, um, they reconnected on social media, and how they both were looking for a friend, and they got caught up in the mix or whatever, so I'm like, so, I guess y'all, I'm assuming y'all did something together, is, that's what it sounds like you're saying to me, and I guess you feel salty because she called him on FaceTime, like, uh, I don't, but, well, she also says that, you know, she tried to be a PR for Brooke, too, and, you know, how her ad attitude was jacked up. So, I guess that's uh, that just adds on to why she can't stand Brooke or whatever, this, that, and the third. And it's like, Hazel, bitch, you was the last one to be, to be talking about somebody's attitude. Like, oh, my God. Your attitude has been fucked up this whole goddamn season. Like, what are you talking about? Whatever. So, anyways, you know... The Shady Crew show up. Well, part of the Shady Crew shows up. Ray, um, Monice, and Nia. So, you know, as soon as they show up, Ray and Alexis immediately start going in on each other or whatever. And, you know, um, Ray brings up, you know, Alexis threatening, you know, slap him or whatever. And, you know, Alexis is like, yeah, I will slap you because, you know, you don't even know me. And you walk up in my comments and this, that, and third. And, you know, Ray is like, yeah, because, you know, you popped off. Um... You know, he's like, yeah, I popped off because, you know, um, you made a video um, addressing my friend and I ain't appreciate that, whatever. And it's like very clear that everybody is fighting Masika's battle at this point with this girl. And I find, I just feel like that shit is really lame. Like, it's really fucking lame. It's getting really tired at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just... It's annoying. Like, Masika need that. Like, I try to understand in the very beginning where Masika was coming from when she said she didn't want to give Alexis camera time and all this other stuff. But it's like, now your friends are getting dragged into it or whatever. You know, they're getting attacked and, you know, this, that, and the third. And you ain't doing shit about it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, and then they're stupid because they doing all this shit for you and you ain't doing a goddamn thing. It, it could have been me. It, it could not have been me. Because I would have been prone to cuss Masika's ass out if I was her friend. I'm just saying. Like, bitch, I'm sitting up here fighting your battle and you ain't doing shit? Fuck out of here. Sure. But anyway, so, you know, um, Alexis, you know, she tries to grab, you know, Ray and everything. Security comes through or whatever. And, you know... Um, she brings up how Monice ran up on her and how it's cool or whatever, but she don't have on a wig today or whatever. And Ray, he's like, speaking of wigs, can we go get her wig from outside? <laughs> oh, I, cr I don't know why I cracked up so hard at that part, but you know, <laughs> you know, um, Alexis, she tries to, you know, uh, snatch at him again and everything. And, you know, um, 
Alexis finds it funny how, you know, um, Masika's friends are here, but she's not and everything. And, you know, um, Alexis is like that she just want, you know, that she was hurt pretty much by what Masika and Fetty did and everything. And, you know, um, Nia's like, why does it even matter? Like, you know, Masika is not even here. And, you know, Alexis is like, you know, I want to tell her about what, what, what she did was not okay or whatever. And I'm like, okay, but Fetty was your man. You should be coming at him. You well, you should have came at him way harder. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, so you know, um, Monice is like, you know, pretty much saying, like, yeah, you know, um, he should have told Masika to back off or whatever if he was riding with you and everything, this day and the third. Hazel is asking Monice why is you know she defending Masika and this day and the third. Then Lyrica comes out of nowhere she starts to pop off you know what i'm saying and it's like you know listen you know i've been not i be nice to every fucking body i haven't done shit to none of y'all and i could be friends with whoever i want to be friends with and alexis ain't done shit to me and monish you sitting up here talking about something you gonna beat my ass well you know um now what like what you gonna do we right here you know what i'm saying and, you know, um, Monice is trying to talk, but, you know, <laughs> Lyrica was over talking her. And Monice walks away. Now, I don't know if this is growth for Monice or if Monice was low-key scared or something. Like, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what to make of that. I, I really don't. Like, what do y'all think? I don't, I don't know what to make of her walking away because I, I was just like, Monice is walking away like what you know what I'm saying so that was that with you know that whole situation then we get you know um Nikki Tierra and Hazel you know this is Nikki's event or whatever and you know um Tierra shows up Tierra is already taking shots or whatever. Nikki, she's, you know, concerned. Then Hazel comes or whatever. Nikki wants them to talk. You know, um, TT, she says to Hazel, the last time you saw me, you threw a plate of food at me or whatever. And then Hazel going to sit up here and talk about some, well, um, because you walked away from me or whatever. And, you know, I don't like being disrespected. And, you know, Tierra was like, so that mean that gave you a right to get physical or whatever. And Hazel going to sit up here and talk about some that Tierra, that Tierra deserved for her to get physical with her. Because she did the adult thing by walking away from your ass because we already knew. Like, had security let Tierra got to, um, get to your ass, she would have dragged your ass for fucking filth. Let's be honest here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, come on, Hazel. Like, it, it, like, it seemed like to me in that particular scene, Tierra came there, calm, cool, and collective, with a clear head, trying to talk civilized or whatever. You the one who came out of fucking pocket, and when she tried to walk away, be the bigger person and walk the fuck away, you throw a plate of food at her like as if you really could get down with Tierra like that. Like, fuck out of here. You know what I'm saying? So then, um... When, you know, when Hazel said that shit, Tierra, she's trying to pop off or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Security gets in the way. You know, um, Nikki's mom is there as well. Nikki's mom is trying to have a pep talk with Tierra and everything. You know, Tierra's saying some, you know, slick shit or whatever. So Hazel overhears or whatever. And, um, you know, Tierra tries to charge her again in everything. Nikki is trying to calm Tierra down or whatever. And, you know, um, Tierra starts to cry because Nikki, Nikki's mom is telling her you need to change and you can't let people take you out your element or whatever. And Hazel's sitting up here talking about somehow, you know, Tierra's friendship. I mean, how Tierra's alcohol abuse has, you know, tarnished their friendship and, you know, how Tierra don't be remembering shit the next day. And Hazel apologizes to Nikki and, you know, says that, you know, it's the liquor with Tierra or whatever. And if she goes to rehab, then they could, you know, um, try to rekindle their friendship and everything. And it's like... Yes, I honestly feel like Tierra does have a problem. But Hazel, you're full of fucking shit because you know you be agitating fucking situations. For you to sit up here and say that that girl deserved to get, for you to get physical with her when she tried to walk the fuck away from your ass in that goddamn restaurant. Like, come the fuck on here. Come the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Oh, Hazel just gets on my fucking nerves, y'all. I'm sorry. She really does. So, anyways, we get Monice, you know. Um, she's working on her vocals with her cousin and everything. Nikki shows up despite the issues that, you know, Monice and Nikki have because Nikki wants to talk about Tierra. You know what I'm saying? And, um... Nikki says, you know, despite the fact that we had our issues or whatever, when my brother passed away, you know, um, you reached, you, um, reached out or whatever. And I didn't forget that or whatever. And Monice is like, listen, the past is the past. You know, I'm not even worried about that shit no more. You know, um, Nikki tells her about the launch party and how, you know, um, Tierra tried to, you know, fight Hazel and all this other stuff. And, you know, um... Monice is explaining how she already tried with Tierra and she and you know how Cisco came came in between that shit, you know, um when he knew that um Monice and Nia were trying to really get her help and everything. Nikki says, Well, let's, you know, let's try together. Maybe if we come together, maybe she'll, you know, um really accept it and everything. So then we get AD and Tierra, you know, um, AD pretty much wants to catch up, you know, AD and Tierra, they have their own, own bond, um, outside of Monisa, whatever. So, you know, um, Tierra is telling AD about the whole situation with Cisco and, you know, how Monice crazy ass even found love or whatever. And AD is like, well, you know, I met Monice when she was in transitioning of really loving herself or whatever. Tierra starts getting defensive, like, hold up, don't seem like as if, you know, uh, Monice is just way ahead of me in the game or whatever, this day and the third. And, you know, AD is like, that's not what I'm trying to say or whatever. You know, um, you know, Tierra is like, you know, Monice. And Nia, they stuck their nose into my business or whatever. And AD is like, well, I want to invite you to Monice's surprise party, aka your intervention. So, you know, Tierra is like, why should I make her happy and everything? And, you know, um, I don't want to be there or whatever. And AD is like, you know, you guys are good friends and that's not going to change or whatever. Tierra feels like Monice handled it the wrong way. And I, I understand where Tierra is coming from or whatever. But she's sitting up here saying she don't want to talk to her ever again. And it's like, wow, like, you willing to throw your friendship away with Monice over some petty ass? Oh, because she cares about your well-being like what the fuck you know what i'm saying like yeah maybe she didn't handle it the best way but i don't i honestly feel like monice and nia was not coming from a bad place you know what i'm saying but ad is like well show up for me you know what i'm saying so um tiara's like well shit that bitch ain't never celebrated a birthday with me or whatever but if i come it'll be a surprise so then we get the surprise birthday party slash intervention tt expects an apology from nia and um monice or whatever she comes in you know the house and everything you know ad answers the door and this intervention specialist immediately ambushes tiara saying how her friends are concerned about her and that's how the episode left off and i'm gonna be honest i didn't like i didn't like the fact they had the um they had the, the um the specialists you know um ambush Tierra like that like soon as she came in the motherfucking house you just have her come up to Tierra talk about you know your friends are concerned about your drinking and all this other stuff like god damn like what the hell like y'all couldn't just kind of ease that shit in you know let a just let AD answer the door you know um bring her to everybody and then maybe the specialist can go on and saying who she is and why tears really here like i just i didn't like the way they did that y'all i really didn't like the way they did that shit but um and it looked like it's not gonna go over well next week but that was the episode y'all um not really a whole lot but you know make sure you guys like comment and subscribe make sure you guys come back and i will see you guys in the next episode peace